everyone let's see the overall energy today overall energy between you and the person who is on your mind the most when you see this video one card please okay someone's resisting coming forward to you okay um their heart says yes but their head says no at the moment so you have got somebody who obviously misses you they want to speak to you but for some reason um i think there's somebody else in the environment that is very overbearing somebody who interfered in your connection who got involved a lot and caused a lot of issues um i'm getting a male energy or it could be somebody who even if they're female or identify as female, could be a little bit overbearing. But there's an overbearing person or persons in the environment. And your person doesn't seem to have the strength to stand up to them. Instead of just saying, look, no, I want my, my ex back. This is what I'm doing. It's almost like they feel they have to beg for permission. So I'm going to see what the blocks are. Okay, quite simple today. I just want to see what what the blocks are and what's going on here. So just give this a shuffle. Thank you so much for being here and all your support, your likes, comments, subscribes. It's really, really kind of you. Um, and if you'd like a personal reading, just click on the title of this video and that'll take you through to the description box where the links to the website are and everything's on there and also check out the free relationship report as well okay like i said everything's on the website all the links and everything um so go check that out if you want a personal reading right i'm having three of these okay before i get my tarot deck out ah there we go it is all too much okay you've triggered me this is the one i need to hold my true feet back my feelings for you yeah that's what i was that's what i'm feeling today they're holding back because of these overbearing people um i think what you've triggered is the fact that you possibly were the nicest person they've ever met but sometimes in life people don't see that you know it's that saying isn't it you don't know what you've got till till it's gone that's what this is about. They didn't know what they had. They thought they could meet someone else or they could reinvent themselves, I'm hearing. Maybe they bought a new place. Maybe they bought some new clothes. Who knows what they did. But I'm getting almost a reinvention of themselves. That They could just disengage with you and it was all going to be fine. Well, it's not because they've lost you. Everything's too much for them at the moment. I think what is too much is that they are not in control of their own destiny. Someone has got them stuck. They're trapped. Okay. They're trapped. Let's see why. What's going on in the environment, please? Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah, they just feel like they're out of luck. They're stuck. Okay, they feel lonely without you. They feel lonely. They've done a lot of thinking, though, but not just thinking. They've gone within, almost like they've had a bit of an awakening here as to the genuine nature of your love. Your relationship was very genuine, okay? That is what I think has triggered them. But with regard to them at the moment, they are stuck. Um... They want to come forward. They're frightened of some arguments that they're going to have if they come forward. And also, that they, you know, just look in general. So whatever they're doing in their life, it's not really working out. So it could be their career, their finances, but they're feeling very, very stuck. Um, and one of the blocks I'm getting is they don't have a plan. Okay. They are literally half an inch away from just getting on the phone or messaging or getting in touch with you. But they are very, very stuck. I don't feel they have the resources at the moment because there's going to be one hell of an argument with these other people. Okay? 
these other people don't want your ex to be in love with you for whatever reason. They don't want it. They could have been quite nice to you to start with, but they did. They just don't want it. They they would block it at every opportunity they have possible here. Okay. Anything else in this environment, please? What else is going on in the environment, please? Ah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of toxicity. There's somebody within the environment. Okay, it's not your person. It's somebody else. That's what I've been getting from the get-go here. Um, could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, and it's somebody who's just very, very rude. They just think they know it all. You know, this card for me is someone who will go charging into a conversation and everything they say has to be right. They're, they're the only ones with an opinion. Everybody else's opinion doesn't matter, okay? And if they don't get their own way, they are rude, they are toxic, they are aggressive, and they're, they're really mean with their words. Just mean. You know, they're good with words, they're good with words, but words and sarcasm, I'm hearing, is their weapon of choice or their, you know, their, what they tend to do to, to make themselves feel better. But that is the problem here. They've got, your person has got all of this going on and because of this person, they can't come forward. Anything else, please, that's blocking? What's this other person? Why? Is it money? Yeah. Five cups. It's, it's almost like an energy. They're connected into somebody who's really unhappy emotionally and mentally themselves. Um, and because they are a Debbie Downer or whatever the word is for, you know, they're constantly in victim mode they heap a lot of guilt on your person they they they're playing the emotional blackmail card here okay really really playing the emotional blackmail card a lot to do with the past nothing to do with what you did it's all to do with this environment but they are you know sat in this toxic energy that someone in the environment has not let go of a past hurt. Someone hasn't let it go. It doesn't matter what you offer them or how much you beg and plead. They're just stuck in the past. But the people in this environment don't want your person to come back. They don't want them to come back. No, they're very, very um, up themselves. So they really do think that they're better than anybody else. And that I, can I can see them doling out the instructions, writing the rules. This is the way we're going to do it. They see you as a threat. Okay, they see you as a threat because you saw straight through this charade of whatever it was. But they see you as a threat. And I do get specifically an air sign sun moon or rising um someone who's got quite a prickly energy do you know when you walk into a room and somebody kind of looks at you as if they're better than you and then they might use clever words okay somebody who <clears throat> could have quite a good use of vocab vocabulary but instead of just doing it nicely they they do it to put you down this person likes all these people like to make you feel stupid okay they like to make you feel stupid but they don't want you to to reconcile at all top of the deck no and they keep saying to your person that you're comfortable where you are you're comfortable where you are okay but i feel there's angels in this reading guardian angels which I don't say very often in my readings. I feel that you and this person 
will reconcile at some point. Okay, you will reconcile at some point. Yeah. It's just taking its time. Yeah, they will come back in. Um, they're trying. They're trying to keep the peace. Okay, they're trying to keep the peace at the moment. For some reason, they need these other people. And these other people are, are, are kind of, as I always say, pulling the strings. But they are looking at ways of coming back. They will come back in. It's taking its time. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. But slowly but surely, they will come. They will come back into you, okay? They see you as the Queen of Cups. Queen is your energy, whoever's watching this today. Um, loving, kind, intuitive. They just see you as absolutely amazing, really. But they're, they're coming back in. What else would they like to say to you? Any other messages, please? They just need to break free. Soul contract. Yeah. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. No, they can't forget you. Um, and, you know, this is why I'm feeling like the protection here. Sometimes everything, rather, happens for a reason. Them being stuck in this situation now and having to go within and having an awakening and realising all the pain they caused you and also they are now seeing these people, although they're still stuck at the moment, but won't be forever, for exactly who they really are. That is one of the lessons. Then you, when you reconcile, because you will reconcile, it's almost like these people will never have existed. You'll both be on different timelines, like these people, this environment they're in, <clears throat> and your new relationship will be on a different timeline but that is the block it's this specifically air sign overbearing nasty sarcastic person anything else one more before we wrap this up any other blockages that i need to know about the collective needs to know about please yeah they're scared of making a new beginning bottom of the deck two of cups that's what they want with you OK, but they are petrified, fools in reverse. That's the block. They've got to take a leap of faith. They've got to disengage. They've got to take a leap of faith, cross that bridge. And they've got to believe in that. That is how they feel about you, your soulmates. OK, you see eye to eye. You just, you probably recognise this person when you met them. There was just a feeling of, Comfort, okay? Blockage, Ten of Pentacles. They could be in an environment specifically where there is a family and it's money related. So the siblings, family businesses, or the family don't like you because their values are different or you're not traditional enough. Or, you know, you get that energy sometimes with families and they are so, this is the way we've always done it and this is the way we'll continue to do it. OK, your person could be in a family business or they could be just being henpecked. Henpecked is a UK word, maybe, where someone just keeps pecking at you all the time, you know, like this in your ear hole. And this person's an adult, though, you're connected into. By that, I've just heard to say that, you know, they've got to break free. But this time when they do it, there will be no going back. Why is there no going back? No, they're, they're going to put distance between themselves and this current situation, okay? And for some of them, they won't be welcome back. But because they've been stuck in it, because they've been stuck in this, what I've got to tell you here is what I'm hearing, is because they've been stuck in this, it's the best thing that happened, because they won't want to go back, okay? They won't want to go back. No. They will never ever again think there's any better than you, okay? They'll be really, really happy just to be in your presence, all right? So I hope that's helps someone. Like I said, that is the block. That's why they're holding back the feelings because of this person, persons, 
and all of that yuckiness that's going on so leave it with you take good care remember you're amazing you're wonderful and this person loves you okay just keep doing the work on yourself your self-concept work just keep telling yourself you are the only person in the world for this person okay sometimes you know we forget there's always movement even when we don't see it in the 3d it's still the same it's old news the 3d it's past thoughts past beliefs all sitting there but you change in here and there is movement and eventually it ends up in front of you so i love you all take good care speak soon bye